Good morning, good afternoon, and good night, everyone. I'm that one guy. Today, I'm going to be showing you a three-part tutorial on how to make a CS:GO slash um, Counter-Strike Global Offense skin for the workshop. So, in this video, you will only need Photoshop, VTF Edit, G and GCF Scape. Also, you will need a fresh install of the game. So you, to start off with, you will need to get into the Steam Apps common folder, which I already have a tutorial for. So it will probably be on the left here, on a star, or in the description. When you're in the folder, you'll need to go to Counter-Strike Global Offense, CSGO, and scroll down to pack01dir.vapk, which should open fine in GC Upscape. Then inside of the VPK, there will be materials, models, weapons, and then a few other folders. Now usually you would use V models, W models, and maybe even customization. I'm just going to use the V models orp. So you're going to extract that to a nice little folder, for example the desktop. Now I have my folder here, you're going to open it up and find your main file, which is, in my case, orp.vtf, which opens up in VTF edit. Then you're going to go file, export, then as a TGA or JPEG or something that you can edit. So now you have your orp.tga and you can edit that in an editing program such as Photoshop. But I don't need to do that since I've already created my own file. So just stick the TGA in there and you can delete the old VTF. And then after you created the VTF, go to go back to your TGA file, or if that's what I'm using, just click OK. You don't need to worry about those op settings. And then I'm not gonna show you this yet. And then go to file, save as you should say VTF here, and then just just give it the proper name. And after that, you can close down to v VTF Edit, and there you go. You'll have your TGA, your, v your VMT, which doesn't really matter too much right now, your actual ORP file, and then the expert file, which is more of the Fong mask, which is not too important. So that's going to be that's part one of our little tutorial, part one of making your skin. So after you've created your skin, next next part we're going to be um, putting it in the game, or not putting it in the game, 